Dragon Slayers. It is a furiously windy September afternoon in southwest Alaska. On the frigid waters of the Kuskowim River, a small boat speeds downstream. The boaters peer through the wind-torn patches of fog, searching frantically for the small village that has called for help. Spotting it on the right bank of the river, the boaters dock and race ashore. Night has fallen. It has taken the boaters three and a half panicked hours to reach the ac accident victims. All are in critical condition. One man is barely breathing. He has punctured lungs and a cracked skull. The boaters rapidly set to work, giving emergency first aid. They comfort the victims through the night as they wait for medical evacuation. The next day, when the wind finally dies down, a helicopter drops out of the skies to take the victims to a hospital. All have been saved, and they will all eventually recover. The exhausted members of the rescue team board their little boat and return to their home village of Aniak. Even though they have been away for 17 hours, they have little time for rest. That's because this rescue team is made up of high school teenage girls, and they must get back to class. The girls are members of the Aniak Dragon Slayers, an all-girl team of seven volunteer firefighters and medics. Most of the Dragon Slayers are Yupik Eskimos, or Athabascan Indians. Based in the remote village of Aniak, about 350 miles from Anchorage, they serve 3,000 people scattered over an area the size of the state of Maryland. It is not easy to become a Dragon Slayer. The Dragon Slayers are highly trained. They must take more than 200 hours of medical and fire safety training. They must complete the American Red Cross's advanced training in first aid as well as an emergency trauma injury training course. In addition, they must pass an American Heart Association's course that teaches emergency measures to save heart attack victims. There's more. To stay a Dragon Slayer, the, girl must the girls must maintain passing grades in school. They must not use tobacco, alcohol, or drugs. They must learn to work as a team and never give up, even under extreme stress. There is no second chance, no room for failure. The words I can't are not allowed, says their founder, Aniak Ch Fire Chief Pete Brown. The Dragon Slayers were started in 1993 after a vehicle hit Brown's teenage son who lay helpless in the snow for almost an hour before anyone came to rescue him. The next day, Brown started a campaign to raise money to train an emergency rescue squad. He realized that adults with jobs couldn't just drop their work when a rescue was needed. So the first Dragon Slayer con team consisted of teenage boys and girls. Gradually, the boys dropped out and the, teenage the Dragon Slayers became all girls. At first, the local high school was skeptical. Teachers didn't like the student speakers going off in class whenever an emergency arose. That changed when a former principal collapsed while visiting the school. The man had diabetes, and only quick action by the Dragon Slayers saved his life. Now the Dragon Slayer Slayers can leave class without question when their beepers sound. The school has even changed its science curriculum to emphasize the subjects of anatomy and physiology, the knowledge the Dragon Slayers can use to perform their jobs well. As their beeper sound, I'm sorry, when their beeper sound, the Dragon Slayers drop whatever they're doing and rush to the firehouse. There, they suit up in firefighter gear and get together emergency medical supplies. Then they head out to the emergency. Dragon Slayers answer more than 450 calls a year, an average of more than one a day. They have saved victims of small plane crashes, drivers of colliding snowmobiles, and stroke and heart attack victims. When a fire broke out, in her best friend's house, the youngest dragon slayer, 14-year-old Aaron uh, Martiny, crawled into the burning building and saved her friend's two-year-old brother. The girls cannot stay dragon slayers forever. As they graduate from high school, many go to res rescue work in the Navy or attend universities to pursue medical degrees. An apprentice team of young high schoolers called the Lizard Killers trained to become the new dragon slayers. This year, one lizard killer is a boy.